Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, we've got something extreme on tap. And for the next week, I am going to be trying a muscle building app. I am actually in between trainings right now for my MK Ultra series. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. I put a link to the whole playlist below. So I figured I would change things up and try something new. You guys really enjoyed the video where I tried a weight loss app a few weeks ago. This week, I'm going to be trying the Life Sum app. Let's get into this. Ooh, what is my goal? Aren't we all wondering that these days? Be healthier, lose weight, gain weight. You know what guys? I'm gonna choose gain weight. I really do wanna improve my muscle mass and get stronger. So I'm gonna use the premium version of this app just because I wanna experience all the features. Cool, so I got classic dieting. I'm excited. Let's make this one. One of the features in this app is figuring out your life score. I'm gonna find out what that means right now. What are your food preferences? I don't have any. Allergies. How often do I have fruit? Often. Tomatoes? Tomato sauce? Pizza sauce? Not pizza sauce, guys. I, I have tomatoes. <laughs> Vegetarian protein. Nuts every day. How often do you have super greens? Quinoa, bulgur, amarins. Seeing as how I don't know what half of these things are, I'm gonna say not often. So this live test is like really comprehensive. It is asking me 41 questions about everything that I eat. Like it's making me really think critically about what I eat. I do not drink enough water, oh man. All right, oh, wow. Okay, not perfect though. So first of all, it looks like I'm gonna need to eat more seafood, which I don't really do right now because Seafood is expensive. And it also looks like I'm gonna have to reduce my olive oil intake. As you can see, my unsaturated fats and proteins are off track. Well, let's get them in track this week, shall we? So I just left the grocery store with all my groceries for the week. And I will say that the salmon did add $10 to my grocery bill, which was less than I thought it would be. But I hope that it's like worth it like I said, I usually don't buy fish because it's pretty expensive where I live, but I guess we'll see. All right, so this is what we're looking at for dinner. Okay, just finished. It actually looks pretty dang good, guys. Check it, try it. This is pretty great. So yes, Cooking with fish or salmon can be more expensive, but it is nice. It tastes good. This app really made apparent to me how dehydrated I am all the time. I just got back home after a really, really long and stressful day and I look at my app and it says that I've only had three glasses of water right now, right before. <laughs> I get on with the rest of my evening when I want to be relaxing. I'm going to have to drink five glasses of water. The app isn't making me do this all at once. It's just I want to be verbatim by the app this whole week. And now I've got to just chug a bunch of water. So here we go. At least I'm hydrated. I also noticed that my hunger levels differed a lot. I'm about to go to sleep and usually I feel a little bit hungry when I go to sleep. I thought it was just cause I'm like always a hungry person, but today I don't. I feel pretty full actually. I chose the gaining weight, well, gaining muscle weight option because I know that I need to gain muscle for some stuff that I'm about to do in other training videos, but I have to say that this week I've been a little bit apprehensive and worried that like I might be gaining fat and I hope that's not the case. I just wanted to share that. Guys, look at there, empty. Today was the first day where I finally got in all eight glasses of water without having to have some form of a chugging crisis at the end of the day. So I am proud of myself. Pro tip, water hack. I realized that when I put lemon juice or lime juice in my water, it makes me drink it so much faster just because there's a little flavor. Little, 
hydration hack for you. So the week with life sum was actually pretty good. The most difficult part of this challenge was remembering to put everything I was eating into this app. However, that also held me really, really accountable and prevented me from reaching for like small snacks or pretzels or whatever because I knew that if I had something that I shouldn't, I would have to enter it in the app. In short, it's a cool app calorie tracker that has some fun elements to it that I definitely want to continue to incorporate in my life moving forward. First of all, I didn't realize how dehydrated I was. I know I've said that a couple times in this video already, but I noticed that once I started drinking as much water as I needed to, even though it was kind of annoying, I felt a lot better, my skin looked better, and it helped me wake up a lot in the morning. Initially, I was pretty apprehensive about incorporating so much fish into my diet because fish can get a little pricey where I lived, but eating more fish definitely helped me feel fuller, which I do feel like was worth the added increase to my grocery bill. I feel like when it comes to weight loss, being healthy, fitness, we're so focused on the number on the scale when what really matters is first of all, how you feel when you look in the mirror, and second of all, what makes up that number on the scale. Even though I gained weight, I lost fat and put on muscle, which is exactly what I was going for this week. If you guys wanna try out the LifeSum app yourself, you totally can download it for free via the link in my description. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below with what crazy diet extreme thing I should try next. And as always, subscribe to this channel because it's fun and we do crazy stuff and it would just be great to have you. Have a great day, bye.